Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Yana. This is The Scented. We talk about fragrances and today we're going to be talking about the top five by Rito fragrances. So if that sounds interesting to you, keep on watching. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel. Hit that notification bell as well. Stay tuned for new videos coming up. We do all kinds of fun fragrance things on this channel. And today's video is intended for people that are kind of newer to niche fragrances. They're just getting into discovering niche fragrance brands. By Rito is one of the more popular ones. And this is when you just start dipping your toe into niche. You don't know where to start. These are the five by Ritos that you absolutely need to check out. They are my favorite. I know fragrance is a subjective thing. Everybody's tastes are different, but these are the five that are going to be the most likable. They are going to be the easiest on your nose, easy to wear, and honestly, most worth investing your money in when you're building your fragrance collection because you will be getting wear out of them. So let's jump right in. Of course, we're going to start with my personal favorite. This is Bal d'Afrique. This one smells like sweet vetiver, marigold. There's a little bit of citrus. It's creamy. It's very, very unisex. I love this one for myself. I wear this one all the time. This is one of my personal signature scents. I did a full review on this fragrance when I received it. I'll link that one up here. And honestly, this fragrance I didn't like at first. At first I thought it was maybe a little bit too masculine. I almost thought it was smoky, but I got the hand cream and it really grew on me. It's the sweetness really comes out. It's really addictive this type of scent it's beautiful it's easy to wear performance is lacking that's the thing with byredo fragrances a lot of them are not very strong but the scent profiles are so beautiful val de freak there are a lot of smell likes out there there's a lot of more vetiver heavy fragrances but nothing really compares to this this by far is my favorite from that type of scent profile it just is perfectly balanced all the other ones, they're either a little bit too smoky, a little bit too bitter, a little bit too citrusy or peppery. This one, yeah, it's perfectly balanced. I never get sick of it. Everything is just in harmony in this fragrance. It smells to me like the color orange. It's a very happy scent. This is a fragrance that you put it on and you shine bright. Like you are sunshine in that moment. And it's really just perfection. It's no wonder why this is one of their top sellers. It's the most probably hyped fragrance in their collection. And there's a reason for it. It is number one. You absolutely need to check out by Rito Bal d'Afrique. The second one you need to check out is by Rito Blanche. This was the first bottle that I ever got and it's almost completely done. This one smells like laundry. If you're somebody who doesn't like the smell of laundry, you probably won't like this because this is legitimately sparkling, fresh, clean, kind of a laundry scent. It's very bright and bursting. It has a bubbliness about it. It smells sparkling clean, like it really smells like sparkle and I think it's really beautiful. I think it's easy wearing. I wore a ton of this. Super work appropriate, super kind of everyday casual and unique. It's still very, very unique. It's not those old school aldehydes that you'll find in Chanel fragrances or some of the, you know, old school classics. This is very modern aldehyde. This also has a light floral powderiness about it. There's rose, peony, and violet. Violet has this sweet powderiness about it and it's noticeable in here, but it's it's mostly about the aldehydes, musky and soft and clean, plushy and sparkling, really, really beautiful. I saw this being compared to Mosquino Toy 2 on Fragrantica. There is a slight resemblance, but that one's a lot more citrusy and it smells more synthetic. This one's a lot better quality and you can really smell that. So this one I think definitely worth checking out, especially if you're into clean scents. The next one you need to check out is Mojave Ghost. This is another one of their absolute best sellers. This one smells powdery, floral, clean, and musky, and it has a unique note of sapodilla fruit. Kind of gives a little bit of a tanginess. It's really nice. If you like Chanel Chanteau Tendre or Marc Jacobs Daisy, you will like this as well. I do find it quite similar to Chanel Chanteau Tendre, but this one is more kind of musky, where Chanel Chanteau Tendre is more floral. And this one has that tanginess of the sapodilla fruit. Really nice, really fresh, easy wearing. For me personally, the association is that it's a new mom smell because this fragrance is what I wore basically after I had my baby. I have a um, conditioner that smells exactly like this and I came home, took a shower, put that leave-in conditioner in and I smelled like Mojave Ghost. And so for me, that's the association. It's just a very clean, comforting, powdery, mom scent in the best way possible. 
The best citrus fragrance from Barrito, in my opinion, is Gypsy Water. It's a woody citrus scent. It has pine, it has lemon incense, but a very, very gentle incense, a little bit of sandalwood, juniper, and this one, it smells like pine and lemon. Those are the two main notes that stand out to me, but it's balanced out with like a creamy, sweet vanilla. Think of like a lemon meringue pie, kind of like that. That's the kind of sweet, lemony, vanillic facet that you get, but also fresh pine, like eating a key lime pie or like a lemon meringue pie outside if you're having a picnic, that's what you're getting. It's really, really beautiful. It is very gentle in terms of performance, in terms of projection. None of these fragrances really are that strong. I think Blanche is quite strong actually. Um, and the last one that I'll mention does perform quite well, but generally no, they are not super long lasting fragrances, but the fragrance scent itself is really beautiful and the presentation and really when you're buying niche, personally, I don't find it's all about the performance. A lot of niche brands really don't perform if I'm being honest. It's more about the creativity in the scent and a lot of it is just the satisfaction of buying a luxury good. Like let's be honest, a lot of niche fragrances are just about buying a luxury item as with handbags and shoes, you know, I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to come after me for saying that, but it's just facts. So no performance, not strong, but scent profile, beautiful, beautiful, citrusy, piney, refreshing summer scent. This one I think is like the easy, easy reach for the summer. Like this is one of the best summer fragrances for sure. And lastly, one that I find to be a cold weather scent and a feminine leather fragrance. This one has plum, it has violet leather, and it's bibliotech. This is a very easy wearing leathery fragrance. So for women that want to explore leather, but are kind of scared and a lot of the times it comes out quite sharp, this is not a sharp leather. This is a powdery, gentle, soft leather, sweetened with the plum. It's for me, something that I always reach for in the evenings, in the fall and in the winter, a very, very comforting, quiet scent. This feels warm and quiet, and I really enjoy it for that reason. The leather is gentle, it's soft, it's almost like lamb leather, you know, like, like a lamb leather jacket, that's that kind of leather. And the fruits are not super sweet, so you don't get that harsh kind of, you know, um, Tuscan leather, raspberry and leather kind of combo. I find it very intense, a little bit harsh. This is very, very gentle. So super easy wearing. You will get a lot of wear out of this and it does perform really well. On my skin especially, I, I do get really good performance. And by that, I mean about seven, eight hours. So. Yeah, really, really nice. Also a compliment getter. Very unique scent, but people seem to really like it. So when I wear this fragrance, I do always get compliments and it's really beautiful. So those are the top five by Rito fragrances, especially for people that are just getting into niche. So of course, um, there are a lot of really beautiful fragrances from by Rito. A lot are more unique, but I have smelled all of them. And from the perspective of, you know, buying a fragrance that you're actually gonna wear, these are the top five for sure. The other ones, I mean, there's a reason why these are the five that I've personally invested in. The other ones that I've tried on my skin and I've, like I said, I've tried almost all of them. They're just not full bottle worthy. They're still enjoyable. 11th hour is really cool. A spicy kind of mulled wine type of scent. Sundays does a sweet um, citrusy scent, but I don't find them balanced enough to be able to wear them frequently enough. So for the purposes of buying full bottles, these are your five. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment down below. Let me know your favorite fragrance from by Rito. And don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.